Hello friends, you're the Lonesome Gamer and I'm still playing RAF The Battle of Britain 1940. It's just the second day of the raids so it's now August 14 and uh, it's just the beginning, at 6 o'clock in the morning and already the first raid and I'm gonna show you that raid because it's a really big one we got 13 Gruppen participating in this raid so this is not gonna be easy uh, the target is a port Southampton got that here and uh, we have sufficient warning time limited intelligence so after the raid size determination we have now to assign our squadrons and with a sufficient time it says squadrons patrolling in sectors no squadrons patrolling and in sectors en route so that's not really cool we could we could use these three now And this is going to be a problem. This is not enough, that's for sure. We, we're not going to, with these three squadrons, the major eight, 13. Now that's really a lot. I don't know if it makes really sense to even try that. What I could do is, I could do a delayed response. This is something that you do um, uh, this is something that you do in the advanced rules. We could now say, okay, we, we risk it and we, we, we go with these three squadrons but there is a big big chance that we might take some losses and in the end we cannot intercept any bombers at all and uh, so that's not not a big advantage if we'd say okay forget about this we don't even try it then we would lose an additional victory point for sure that's kind of a penalty so this is also not the best idea but what we could do is we could do this delayed response so that means we let them do their bombing raid which is not good but then on their way back we're gonna hunt them down so our advantage now is if we do this delayed response we don't have to take that victory point penalty then there would be an additional penalty if no squadron uh, even tries to intercept the bombers uh, which makes the bombers uh, or which gives the bombers an advantage in bombing the target and we could also avoid that penalty when doing that delayed response and in addition the main point is that the uh, warning time uh, goes uh, well one level to our advantage so it goes from sufficient to early and that means then that we can use the squadrons patrolling and in sectors and en route and patrolling in range and in this case that would mean we could use probably we could use 211 and 410 so we could then answer with these two squadrons here and with these two squadrons here and this is actually not bad then I, I might be able to to shoot down some of the enemies so I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a delayed response here. Okay, so we got this delayed response marker here. 
that we can simply play here just to remember that and then we can now um, do the squadron commitment and I'm gonna take these two place them in here and these two and uh, I could also take this one because he's in the sector en route and that's okay actually and I can take these two okay yeah so here we go and what's next so that was now the limited intro squadron commitment and now we do the raid deployment just as we would do during a normal raid okay so this is interesting there are not many bombers actually so I'm not sure if I like it or not because it makes the fighting definitely harder hmm okay so we got now three four five May 109 plus one May 109 in channel patrol now the channel patrol uh, gruppen they are placed in the close escort box during a delayed response and then we got one two three four May 110 well actually we do have 13 so we have another May 109 Woo, this is this is tough. I'm not even sure. Well we'll see about that. This this is gonna be a tough one. And we got two U88. And all oh, this is from Luftflotte 3 actually. Yeah. It's interesting, there are not I think there are not enough Me 110. Yeah, that is not the case. So instead of three May 110 I think we have to take another May 109 there is a rule how to how to do that okay so now this is our rate it's a uh, pretty crazy actually pretty big one and I didn't expect that I thought there would be maybe more uh, more bombers or so so this makes it really hard because we got so many fighters here you can see up here uh, basically uh, all air bases uh, of Luftflotte 3 are out of fighters now. What we had to do is, because there are only three Gruppen of Me 110, and there are, we needed uh, four, so we had to substitute one uh, fighter Gruppe, and you always substitute fighter group with another fighter group, never with a bomber group. So in this case, we took another Me 109. But uh, normally, a Me 110 would end up in the Clause Escort box. But because we had to substitute it, the Me 109, which would have been at the Clause, uh, which we used, went to the Hunt box now. But the May 109 from the Channel Patrol box actually went to the Close Escort box because of the delayed response. Okay, so this is it. This is our raid. And now we got to do the bombing first. Okay, and during the first day there was no bombing at all because we were very very successful now right at the beginning of the second day that's a little different uh, we got here a bombing table now and 
First, we add up the total strength of the bombers. But before we do this, actually, I forgot that. Uh, we have to draw the events. So first, we're going to draw the raid approach event. Uh, is that so? Approach event? Yeah, that's the raid approach event. So let's see what that means. Okay, that, that sounds good. Clouds scatter rate. If the region has patchy or broken clouds, reduce all C grouping. So that's pretty cool. They come here from the Luftwaffe 3 and there are patchy clouds. So that's great. So we can reduce all C grouping and that might be worth quite a bit now. Okay, so we can use, reduce them and all these. Uh, it's not that much, but it's not bad anyway. Might help a little bit. Okay, so and then these attacks, the hunter attacks, and all that stuff that doesn't apply now. So, uh now we come to the raid target event. And that says now May 110 strafe. Move all May 110 Gruppen from the close escort box to the bomber box. Okay, so there is actually only one. So this one goes in here. No, that's not true of that. Absolutely not true. We got three of them. So they go in here. Okay. So, and uh, yeah, this is it then. Okay, well, I messed this up with the, with the order a little bit. The point is the German bombing is resolved before squadron interception and attack, but the hunter attack is actually before and it is also before the raid target event. So first now they go back to the close escort box and uh, so okay so we have the raid approach event that was okay and there is the hunter interception here and I also forgot that so uh, but this is not possible because uh, we have Gruppen equals squadrons so all stay in hunt box we cannot place any of our any of our fighters in the bomber box right now but uh so now that was the that was the uh hunter interception then we had the raid approach event that was the cloud scatter rate and now we actually come to the uh hunter attack and we got to do that now so let's see this is going to be a big battle once again and uh on this standard combat result table so we got one, two, nine of these hurricanes, uh, not nine, but uh, a total combat value of nine and 16 of the Spitfires. So that brings us to 25. And then because they are reduced, it's 26, 27. And we got one, we got seven Gruppen. So this is here, this one, and it goes down to 27. So this is this, it's E. So this is not gonna be easy. We need a good high result here, that would be great. Let's hope for the best here. Come on. Ah, nope. Okay, let's give this another shot, let's see. That's a three, this is not great. Okay, so let's see what happens. We got D, A and A for the Germans. So let's see, the uh, units in the hunt box. So 
let's 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 see. The A are disrupted. What does that mean? They go to in flight. Okay, so we got that one and this one. The B. It was abort, wasn't it? Yeah. So B was abort. So they go to in flight reduced. Okay. And then finally we got C, but this time it's important to see that this is already a reduced Gruppe. And I think that was also uh, aboard, and they go to light loss full. So they give us a victory point actually, if this is true. Yeah, it is. They go to light loss full. So we got that down here. And we gain two victory points here. Okay, and. So this is interesting. Now the British, oh, it's not so bad, I think. The A, they will do it. This is no effect. So the A goes simply bomb box or in flight. So we can now put them here into the bomb box. Sadly, there are only two, which is not so great. Okay, and then we have The B is aboard, so they go to in-flight reduced. Uh. And then finally we got uh, C, and that was I think a light loss, wasn't it? Yeah, it was was a light loss. Uh, that's not so great. Okay, so this was one eleven goes to the light loss box and two eleven, and again we lose two victory points here. Okay, so wasn't that great now? So now what happens is. We got now this rate target event, and that says now, uh, yeah, it was this one here. Messerschmitt 110 strafe. Move all Messerschmitt 110 groupen from the close escort box to the bomber box. So that's what we do. We place them all here. Okay, this is it. But now there is another advantage of the delayed response. Even though squadron interception occurs after bombing, the presence of any squadrons in the bomber box at the time of the bombing prevents close escort fighters from becoming strafers and prevents the application of the two column shift to the right. On the bombing table. So this is actually so uh, the way I see this, they become no strafers, so they stay in the close escort box. And now we got to do the bombing. Okay, and so let's see. The way this works is we got now this bombing table here, and we simply add up the bombing strength. And this is uh, the first one here, this one on the left, the three and the five here. This is the strength of the bombers, the bombing strength, while the other one is the fighting strength. So they have all together a bombing strength of eight, which is here. And then there are some modifiers, so just like that. and no bombers intercepted if no squadrons were in the bomber box at any point during this rate shift two columns right. Yeah, but this is not the case. 
because um, yeah, because we did this delayed response, so it's okay. And uh, if patchy cloud, cloud shift one column to the left, and that is the case, so we actually have this column here. And then we simply roll a die, and best would be one or two, there would be no damage at all. Six would be pretty bad, would be heavy damage. So let's see. Ah, oh, damn it, a five, that's also bad. So five means two damage. So let's see what that means. Explanation of results, two damage point, subtract two victory points. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, okay. And then, ports, cities, and military bases, no additional effects. Okay. So this is it. And now, now we come actually to the squadron interception. Okay, now we got squadrons equal Gruppen in bomber box. All Gruppen in bomber box and close escort are intercepted. So now we have to fight all of them. So, let's see. Again, we use our standard combat results table, and let's add this all up. We have seven, and the bombers have eleven, so that brings us to eighteen. Yeah, and this guy has two. So that's 20, that's 23, and that is 25. Okay, so this is it, 25, and we have five Gruppen. So this is this one here, and it's 25. So this is here, this is F. So let's hope for a good, good roll this time. And that's a five, this looks better now, very good. So that says for the Germans, we have here light damage. This is A, that has the light damage. So this is this guy here. Uh, okay, that gives us one victory point. And this one here, another victory point. And finally, this one. So that is a third victory point. So that brings us back to 16. And so it's F. The B Gruppen, they abort. So let's see, there is only one in the close escort box. Here, units in close escort box. We got a full group there. They abort, so they go to in flight, reduced. Here they are. And the C gruppen. Uh, what was a five? They are disrupted. So let's see what that means. We got here in the bomber box a reduced group. And disrupt, so they go to in flight reduced. I was hoping uh, that would maybe be another damage, but I'm afraid that's not the case. And the same for the close escort box. Yeah, so they they are just reduced. It's no no more damage. Okay, and then finally, let's see what happened to the squadrons. We got two A squadrons now here in the bomber box. And uh, the result is A, the, uh, like a board. So, uh, full squadrons, they go to in flight, reduced. Okay. So, I think overall now, at the end of the raid, we can say that the 
delayed response was probably a good idea. Uh, actually, I think we we have one one victory point through this raid, so that was probably okay. Okay. Uh, well, I keep you updated. Okay, it's eight o'clock. And uh, we have now another target, Southampton Industry again. Uh, or Southampton again, an industry here, before it was Portsmouth. But it's in the same area. So the problem is now we don't have any more uh, planes in there. And uh, we only have a late but accurate... Uh, detection value so uh, and as you can see there are not many I mean there is only this one here patrolling nearby and uh, no other one so I'm afraid we cannot answer this rate uh, but we have this accurate warning so maybe it makes sense to to check out if it's a very small rate and that might be actually the case because it comes from Luftflotte 3 and there is only one Me 109 left here so it is possible that that it is a very small raid so maybe we could do also a delayed response and then come and and hunt this guy down that that might be an option this is maybe interesting so let's let's see here okay so now it's actually an interesting situation here um, this is here Southampton and it's Luftflotte 3. And because of that major raid early on, there are already not many here, quite depleted. So what we can, uh, it says now, well that would, first of all it would have only been a raid of 5. So that wouldn't, wouldn't have been much at all. And in addition, we have now here, the first plane is a Me 110. And there is no May 100, 110 left, so instead we take a May 109 and place that here in the hunt box. Fine. And then the second one would be a May 109, but there is none. So what does that mean? Well, basically it simply means that uh, that's it. That's the whole raid. It's only one plane. Only one fighter. We don't go any further down. That's it. And uh, so maybe if we're lucky, we can we can do an easy point here. We can get an easy victory point here. Let let's see. Okay, so I checked this out, and sadly we cannot intercept that guy at all because uh, we have this late warning. So that means only squadrons patrolling en route. And even if we would do the um, the delayed response would only say squadrons patrolling and insect us en route but because there is no plane at all on that route uh, yeah there's nothing we can do here so uh, but I'm pretty sure you cannot do much damage maybe no damage at all okay well actually it's it's not a big deal it simply says no squadrons group into in flight so this guy moves simply here and that's it. So that raid was not really happening, I think. Fine. Okay. See you then. Okay, it's uh, 12 o'clock. August 14th still. And again, a good, good, uh, a good chance to make some points here. They came up with a... It was officially a major raid but only with uh, six planes. So this is the raid now. And uh, we did some good patrolling, so we managed to face them with four planes. So that gives us a total combat value of 16. And they have only two uh, squadron uh, Gruppen in the hunter box. So this is here. So it goes down to 16, so this is H, this is the line where we can roll. So let's hope for the best here.
And that's a five. That looks amazing. So yeah, it's heavy damage. Ah, sadly, this heavy damage is not here. It's only for... But C is light damage and A would be abort. And we don't take any damage at all, just some disrupted results. Okay, and now for this uh, squadron interception, we have row G. So let's see what we roll. We, uh, we have to keep in mind that there are two reduced squadrons. So in a way, it's a little risky. If I roll bad, it's easily possible that I take a light damage here. But I want to intercept all, the, all of them. So let's see. That's a six. <laughs> Great. Fabulous. So that means heavy damage to the German A. So <laughs> that's awesome. So they lose a Me 109. Well, just give me a break here. Yeah, yeah, actually they do. That they lose a Me 109 from the close escort box and a U87. That is fabulous. And actually they go to heavy losses. Pretty cool. And then, let's see, B is light damage and D is disrupted. Okay, so that means, uh, C, okay, they, so they actually, they actually stay in the bomber box and they can still do the bombing, but they will not be very efficient, I think that is for sure. And the Germans, uh, the, the, the British, the B is aboard. So actually that's four victory points for me. I should not forget that. Just like that for the two heavy losses. And B is aboard. So we have one full squadron here that aborts and they go to in-flight reduced and we were lucky here because if that would have been one of the others one of the reduced ones it would have been a light loss but like this it's all fine no effect for the others for the reduced squadrons so they also go simply to in-flight reduced and I'm pretty sure the bombing will be no big problem here Okay, well actually he was lucky, he rolled a 5, so that means 1 damage on the industry at Southampton. But still, I'm, I'm really happy, that could have been much worse here. Okay, I had a follow-up raid, and because I had only a poor intelligence this time, I, I did not know how big the raid would be. And yeah, my problem is now that you can see only three squadrons against all these, so that might end up pretty bad. Okay, so as you can see, we have a problem here now. And uh, if we don't manage to bring at least one fighter squadron into the bomber box, they get a pretty big bonus in addition to their already terrible um, terrible high uh, combat value. So I'm actually thinking about I could now fend and evade. This is an, also an advanced rule. Uh, the problem if I do that I could you can only do this in pairs so let, let's say I got a I got a pair here of, of hurricanes I could then decide okay I um, I flip one of these two hurricanes to its reduced side and then I can decide to uh, place one of these two squadrons into the bomber box. That's pretty risky on the other hand. I mean, 
makes me weak here. Gives me a little chance here. Might give it a try. Yeah, I could. Could do that. Okay, so this is now row C and this is pretty dangerous here. Could lose now something here. That's a five, so that doesn't look bad. We were lucky, I guess. Okay, so the Germans actually take a light loss. That's pretty cool. One fighter light loss. So that gives me at least one victory point. That is good. And, well, sadly, we also take a light loss. The B would take a light loss, but we were lucky here. There is no B. So that, that was really cool. And D and A. Okay, the A ones, they are disrupted. So just, just give me a break. First, let's do these, these squadrons. What happens if there is no effect? This is actually the case. There is no effect to the A and C Gruppen. Yeah, exactly. So, they go to close escort. Mm. This is not that great because that means we have to fight them too. If we go to the bomber box. And then, we have See, here we go. So that is D and A. Okay, so here we go. To bump box reduced. Hmm. That's a little risky. Okay, well, we will definitely place this guy here to the in flight box reduced, and now we can decide. We can place these two here to the bomb box reduced, which is an option. Would at least allow us to intercept two bombers. Maybe we should do that. Or we could we could place them to the in fight box full. And just let this rate go through. I mean it's it's bad anyway, but I think I'm gonna try it. I mean I think I'll give it a shot. So, yeah. Maybe we're lucky here. Okay, that was the hunter attack. Now let's draw the raid target event. Snap raid by Elite Me 110s. If either or both Elite Me 110 group and I are ready, at their air base. Okay, let's uh, I think this is actually not the case. No, they're not at their air base. Okay. So nothing happens. And well, then we have to do the combat. Okay, now we can the squadrons, there are less squadrons than Gruppen. So that means we can now select one Gruppe for each squadron plus one Bomber Gruppe for each squadron plus one Close Escort Gruppe for each Bomber. Okay, so move aside and what? British selects one Gruppen in Bomber Box per Squadron. Okay, so we can take, I don't know, let's, let's take these two. Move aside remaining Gruppen in Bomber Box, so that would be this one, plus one close escort Gruppe for each Bomber moved aside. Okay, so let's take these two. All Gruppen in BB, and CE not moved aside are intercepted. Okay, so now we have basically to fight these these four. So that means 
this is a 12 and 13 and 4 so this is 17 and there are four Gruppen so it's this one here and it goes down to E let's hope for the best now that's a 3 this is probably not that great okay well we got a light damage for A so this is this elite guy here it's got a light damage so that gives me another victory point and what uh, just give me a break here yeah I somehow messed this up this is actually not true it's this one here so A would be disrupted and B and C is A so that is a board so let's see we got one A Gruppe and they are disrupted so this would be these guys here they stay in the bomber box reduced and then the others abort so they go to in-flight reduced so these two bombers go to in-flight reduced so that's something and this guy also goes to in-flight reduced so no damage okay and then I my C ones would take a light damage but that is not the case and I'm damn lucky because A says no effect both of them are A so that was really a lucky roll in this case uh, yeah and it's a reduced squadron so they simply go to in-flight reduced that wasn't so bad okay so let's check the bombing result then Okay, because of the clouds it's this one here so let's hope for I don't know one to four that would be fine yeah awesome no effect that's fab fabulous they completely missed the target so oh wait a second ah, I might have been wrong here but yeah no it's it's fine I actually it wasn't this row but that one but the one is still a miss so that's that's pretty cool and yeah I mean all fine it, 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 it looked really bad this raid looked pretty dangerous but in the end we were lucky here and all is all is good so I think uh, well I think it's time to load this up if I go on like this it would take 20 videos or something I don't know how long but uh, it's kind of funny and there are many interesting things happening here so uh, maybe I'll see you in my next video until then bye